Here at the range today, uh, we're going to do a review of the Faxon Firearms 10.5 inch Gunner Profile 300 Blackout Barrel. Uh, we built it into this cool looking little pistol grip firearm. It's not a short barrel rifle. It's got a pistol brace. We're going to do a review on that too. This is the SB Tactical PDW brace and a few other things. You'll see this gun on the channel a couple times. We're going to do a review on several of the parts that are in this. We have on top of here a Primary Arms 4 to 14 556 DMR scope. You'll see this on the channel. We're going to do a review on the scope separately, but we're going to do the barrel today, see what kind of practical accuracy we can get out of it at 100 yards. So let's see what we can do. Looks like about a five inch group. Let's uh, go get the target and we'll take a look. In this picture, we're looking at the lower left hand target. We checked the target, about a four and a half inch group. So we're gonna go back to the bench and see if we can get a little, a little tighter than that. And uh, we'll let you know. Okay, we're back at the bench. We're gonna try another five shot group and See if we can tighten it up a little bit. That one felt a little bit better. Let's see uh, if we can make that group a little tighter. Okay, so we measured. The bottom of our group is right here. One flyer here. The rest are right within two inches. But this, from here to here, opened it up to two and a quarter. So, two and a quarter isn't bad with, you know, everyday ammunition we're using some federal 147 grain american eagle so just cheap off the shelf ammo if you guys are interested in seeing the bench rest accuracy of this thing we'll get a lead sled we'll get some match ammunition and we'll definitely get some real world 
bench rest accuracy out of it, but the video was just to show you the practical accuracy. With ammo, you're going to go to Walmart, you're going to buy the ammo, your local gun shop, whatever. Something you're going to go to the range and shoot on a regular basis. Let's go back to the bench. I love going to the range. If you're wondering who this dude is this with me. This dude? This is Andrew. He's my How cameraman. About 30 degrees today, snowed about 5 inches last night, it's cold-ish, but we're out here for you guys because we love you and we want to make good content. Alright, that's it for the range session. Today we'll go back to the table and discuss the results. Let's go. What's up guys, we're back at the desk. So, prior to this little desk session here, we rolled in a picture of the target. So out of the five shot groups that we shot, the tightest one we were able to pull together was sub MOA group at uh, 0.687 inches, I believe, which is pretty good for a rifle and a cartridge that's designed for close quarters combat. Um, Andrew, my cameraman, was able to pull through a, I believe, a three-quarter inch group when he was trying, so that's pretty good. I mean, you can't ask for much better than sub MOA accuracy. I think if we had tried some uh, match ammunition, we probably could have gotten sub half-minute groups, which, like I said, from a uh, close quarters cartridge is just phenomenal accuracy, especially out of a short barrel. Uh, and to clarify, the five shot groups, we measured the best one out of the tightest three shot groups in the five shot group, just to clarify that. Action Firearms seems to be making excellent quality barrels for the price. The prices are not ridiculous. Uh, some of the barrels out there, the prices are just astronomical. We do carry Faction Firearms barrels at the shop. We're an authorized Faction dealer. Uh, this is the package that the barrel will come in. It comes with a plastic cap over the threads and the chamber end. So it is a 10.5 inch gunner profile, 300 blackout barrel with pistol length gas system. It's 4150 QPQ nitrated steel. Uh, are there barrels are broach cut which is an excellent way to make a barrel. They're made in America. Hua. So the scope that we were using for the testing is a 4 to 14 power primary arms 5.56 DMR rifle scope with the ACSS reticle. This is an awesome scope and for the money. We also are a primary arms dealer. We carry these in the shop. This is a phenomenal scope for the money. We're going to do a review later on separately for this, but it's awesome. Well, well worth the, like, what, I think they sell for like 300 bucks. So worth the money. We have the Faction Firearms Barrel. This is the Gunner Profile. Um, it's got a pistol length gas system. We put a Ergo adjustable gas block on it. If you noticed in the video, we did have some issues with the bolt locking back. When the magazine was empty, I just need to make another adjustment on this so that it gives a little more gas to get that bolt all the way back to lock it open when we're done. Uh, if you're interested, at the end here, we have the Lantac Dragon 30 caliber muzzle brake on here. Really makes the recoil on this thing awesome. Flat shooting, it's beautiful. Uh, Magpul and bus backup sights front and back. We have a Raptor charging handle on here. And guys, we did clear the weapon before we started the video at the desk. There's no ammunition in my immediate area, so we're safe and good to go. We built this on Anderson Upper and Lower. Um, the reason we don't have finished parts, we didn't put the forward assist on. We're missing the dust cover. We don't have a 
trigger guard on here because we're going to do some more work to the rifle. We're going to Cerakote it. We do Cerakoting here at Equinox Tactical Supply. We're going to come up with a sick pattern, do a wicked nice job on it. You'll see the rifle here, or excuse me, the firearm on the channel in the future going over the different parts in here. We have the Lantec Enhanced Bolt Carrier Group in here. Awesome. This thing is so sweet. Nickel boron coated. Super smooth, easy to clean. Does not retain a lot of carbon on it. If you'd like to see us do some more reviews on different kinds of ammunition in the 300 Blackout build, we can get our hands on a whole bunch of different ammunitions and give you shot group information on that. If you have any other questions or comments on the stuff that you see on the rifle that I didn't mention, leave it in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. We enjoyed making the video for you. If you would comment below on what you would like to see us review in the future, we will try to get those videos out to you guys as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support us in our future efforts to do awesome videos in the future, please swing by our Patreon page and become a patron. We will be hooking you guys up with prizes and all kinds of cool stuff from our affiliates. So please support us on Patreon so that you guys can get your hands on some awesome free gear in the future. Thank you. Until next time. Peace out.